One Piece manga running for almost 25 years so far, and the One Piece fans being able to ask Oda all kinds of questions throughout the years, you can be sure that some of the questions asked were, well, something. From some hilarious answers Oda gave to insane designs drawn for some situations, to fans being way too down bad, all the way to Oda straight up making fun of his own fans. These are the 70 funniest and most unexpected answers Oda gave in the SBS corner. For example, fans asked Oda what would happen if Chopper were to eat four Rumble Balls. As we know, Chopper used to lose control after the third Rumble Ball, causing him to become something like a mindless monster, attacking everyone on sight. Well, Oda went on to answer, quote, when he eats three, his devil fruit powers go wild. But if he eats four, then the author goes wild. Not only that, but Oda went on to draw this abomination of a character that apparently is what Chopper looks like after the fourth Rumble Ball. This thing is what nightmares are made of. This was only the beginning, and we still have 69 hilarious answers given in the SBS corner. Let's continue. Next, we have once again a violation against Chopper, this time through a combination of both fans and Dota. Chopper is constantly being made fun of during the show on whether he is a reindeer or a tanuki, or something in between. Well, both fans and Dota decided to mock Chopper based on that meme. I mean, hear this. A fan asked, if a tanuki and a reindeer got married, would their child be Chopper? Oda being the troll that he is, he answered that yes, that child would indeed be Chopper. Were these the only instances fans made fun of Chopper? Not even close, because in another occasion, a fan asked the following question. Dear, Tanuki, reindeer, human. How many parts of each do you need to make a chopper? Oda's reply was one part deer, seven parts tanuki, one part reindeer, one part human, please. Not only chopper was once again made fun of, they actually treat him like a cake people can simply learn the recipe for and bake on their own. Was this all the funny info I found on chopper? <laughs> once again, no. In another SBS, a fan asked, quote, if you take away the cuteness from chopper, what would happen? Please attempt to draw him. About the second part of the question, well, let's just pretend we didn't see anything. <laughs> shall we? But answering the important question, Oda went on to draw yet another abomination of a character that is supposed to be Chopper. In English, the speech bubble says, idiot, how can I be munching on sweets? Where's the beer, eh? The beer. But what if the exact opposite were to happen to another straw hat? You see, in another SBS, a fan asked Oda to draw Frankie with a cuteness factor on. Well, the result was this little dude that looks like if Frankie, Chopper, and Annabelle had a child. Next, let's talk about some One Piece fans that are without any doubt as down bad as it gets. For example, a fan asked Oda, quote, why is it that in a battle manga, the bottom half of people's clothes never get ruined? Oda replied, if they fought naked, wouldn't it kind of change the emphasis of the manga? Imagine reading One Piece, and instead of being interested in the plot of One Piece, you were interested in, well, the other plot of One Piece. Up next, we have Whitebeard, and the two hilarious answers I found about him are literally insane. The first was when someone asked, when does Whitebeard use the boomerang he's got under his nose? Meaning the mustache Whitebeard has. Oda went on to draw this cute little dog having Whitebeard's mustache while also writing this, basically making Whitebeard's dog, Stefan, a canon character in the story. But wait, there's more. You see, Whitebeard always features a characteristic bandana wrapped around his head, so fans wondered whether Whitebeard was in reality bald. Thus, they asked Oda what kind of hairstyle Whitebeard Beard has. Once again, as you would expect from Oda, he did not disappoint. This is what the ferocious and badass Whitebeard wears under his bandana. A similar request was made about Enel when fans wanted to see him without his hat. Since Enel's design was inspired by Eminem, I must admit I did not expect to see this for Enel's hair. Were these all the bizarre hairstyles revealed in SBS? Not quite, because the next in line was Buggy. You see, a fan asked whether the two ponytails that pop out from his hat are actually his hair, or if they're just some kind of a decoration or wig. Once again, Oda went on to butcher his characters and draw Buggy looking like a five-year-old girl with ponytails on him. Next, we have that one time when fans asked this once again down bad question. They asked whether Nico Robin can create more breasts with her devil fruit ability. Oda's reply was that yes, Nico Robin can create any body part she wants almost as many times as she wants. So yeah, this fan was surely left happy with that answer. But if you didn't already know, One Piece fans can sometimes ask even weirder questions. I mean, throughout the years, Oda was asked to draw some items in an anthropomorphic design, meaning items as if they were humans. Well, of all the items to choose from, one fan requested a drawing for Yamato's side boob. Once again, Oda did not disappoint and drew this little guy over here. I'm not sure what's worse, the fan requested or the fact that every anthropomorphism Oda draws is absurd. But speaking of that, Oda was asked to draw Shanks' sword in an anthropomorphic design as well. This is what Griffin looks like in a human form, but this was only the tip of the iceberg. This is apparently Mihawk's cross sword in a human version, while these 
Hades are Yoru and Kogatana. Hold on, there's more. This is Brook's sword in a human form. This is Nami's Clematocto. This is Luffy's straw hat that is also seen swearing loyalty to Luffy. This is Kaido's weapon. This is Yamato's weapon. These are Zoro's Haramaki and earrings. This is Zoro's Wado Ichimonji. This is Sandai Kitetsu. This is Shushui. And finally, this is Katakuri's Mogura. The pure chaos with these designs is honestly hilarious. But back to some kinda out of line questions One Piece fans asked. As we know, certain devil fruits give the users the ability to change the characteristics of their physical appearance and at the same time their bodies. Because of that, fans wondered where does this kind of ability end and whether there are any kind of, you know, limitations. They asked if Buggy's you know can detach and fly around like his other body parts. Whether Luffy's you know has the same properties as the rest of his rubber body and thus Luffy can extend it at will. They asked if all of Diamond Jozu's body is made out of diamond, including you know, whether Aokiji's, Kizaru's, and Akainu's, you know, are made out of ice, lightning, and magma, respectively, and Oda answered that yes, Buggy's you know can fly, Luffy's you know can extend, while Jozu's, Aokiji's, Kizaru's, and Akainu's entire bodies, including that area, are made out of their Logia substances. Even though those were some kind of weird questions, it would not be that bad if fans stopped there and did not proceed with the next question. That's because a fan asked whether the armament hockey that at that time was going by the name Tekai can harden any part of the body. So yeah, I'm not going to expand further. I think you understood what this guy was trying to achieve with this question. Oda's response was a question, quote, what are you guys trying to do to this corner? Up next, we know we already mentioned this in a previous video, but for those who missed it, we'll say it again. Apparently, there are people out there who shipped Reiju with Sanji. That's because they went on to ask Oda, why didn't Sanji get hard eyes when he saw Reiju? Of course, Oda's response was, because she is a sister? I mean, there's weird questions, there's messed up questions, and then there was this question this fan asked. Next, we have that one time when a fan mentioned that on Kuro's clothes, there is something that looks like poop. What exactly is that? Well, Oda casually responded with, it's poop. Another fan asked, quote, is Gaimon-san my father? I checked with the Ministry of Education. Oda replied with, damn, you checked with the Ministry of Education? That's right, you are Gaimon's son. The next question has to do with that one time where Chow Chow swallowed a key. Fans asked, what exactly happened to that key? Well, Oda replied that it came out shiny and brown. But wait, because the next two questions show that Oda does not always play nice. You see, a fan decided to suggest a devil fruit idea, the barf bar fruit, where the one who eats it barfs all the time so that no one comes near him. Well, Oda had no chill there and answered, yeah, you ate that. But the next violation was even worse. A fan asked if Luffy wants a musician so bad, why doesn't he come to my house? At this time, Brooke had not yet joined, but instead of Oda being calm about it, he decided to roast this fan inside his own manga volume that literally millions of people read. Oda's response was, because your feet smell. Damn, that must have hurt. But does Oda only violate his fans? Not quite, because not even his main protagonist is safe from him. Somebody asked, how come Luffy never feels nervous or afraid? Oda's reply, because he's stupid. Another time, someone asked if Luffy is made out of natural rubber or artificial rubber. Oda's response, he is made out of naturally stupid rubber. Now that was crazy, right? But not as crazy as the time when fans spotted mistakes in Oda's work. Someone observed that when the bandits enter the bar, they destroy the door. So why is it that when they leave, it's repaired? Oda replied that this was Minatomo. He cannot pass by a broken door without repairing it. I assure you, this wasn't my mistake. I mean, duh, what was the fan asking? We all know Oda makes no mistakes. Next, let's talk about the fact that Chopper cannot play rock, paper, scissors unless he transforms into heavy point. You see, a fan asked Oda about this, in which Oda replied that Chopper uses this for rocks, this for scissors, and this for paper. Yeah, huge difference each time, right? But again, this was not the only question revolving around Chopper's hands. Another time, a fan asked when Chopper is his normal size, how does he hold things? Does he squeeze them in between his hooves? To that, Oda drew this to explain how Chopper's cute little arms work. On to Oda's favorite Easter egg, Panda Man. You see, a fan wrote that he wants Oda to be the voiceover for Panda Man, in which he replied, quote, Ooh, good idea. Okay, I'll go talk to the people at Toei Animation about doing that. Wait, Panda Man doesn't have any lines. Another funny question about Panda Man was during that one time when a fan wrote that he wants Panda Man to wet parents, and so he went ahead to draw them himself. This is what he drew, in which Oda replied that it really bothered him that the mom's body was clearly male. He thanked him for the postcard and then
then wrote, Concept Rejected. Well, even though those relatives of Panda Man were rejected by Oda, others were introduced by him. You see, a fan asked Oda about Nami's clothes and the fact that some of them feature a brand named Doskoi Panda. Oda replied that this is just a brand name, but beware, there is an imposter named Doskoi Panda, so be careful what you buy. Next, we have one of the weirdest combinations of both question and answer. A fan thought of a cool move for Luffy and thus suggested it for Oda. Luffy stretches his mouth and eats the enemy. Then he goes to the bathroom and poops him out. Oda's response was, no, that's terrible. Did you realize what is wrong with that answer? Oda did not reject the idea, but he literally went on to have Luffy do this exact same thing a few chapters later. I mean, let's not forget about that one time when Luffy tried to bite Crocodile in his efforts to deal with his Logia ability. So yeah, there's that. Following up, hear this. A fan reminded Oda of his statement that when he's drawing characters' expressions, he makes the same face as them. Do you do the same thing when you draw Nami's seductive faces? Oda's reply was, of course, I'm famous for my seductive faces. They think I might be hotter than a magazine model queen. But not only that, another fan asked if Oda has ripped abs like Luffy. Oda's answer was, why, of course I do. Seriously, like when I take my shirt off, it's just insane. But again, this was not the only time Oda was praising himself. Someone asked, everyone's so fashionable in One Piece, but are you stylish too, Oda-chan? Oda answered, of course, a man should look his best every day. My hair is in a free grow style that accentuates an all natural sense. My clothes are radiant rags that match all four seasons. No belts for me, as they would restrict my vibrant joie de vivre. And of course, comfortable flip-flops, even when entering high-class hotels. On to my favorite question of today's video. A fan wrote that the other day, he glared at his three-year-old brother and he started crying. Do you think I might have conqueror's hockey? Oda's response was, quote, please be nicer to your poor brother. I can only imagine what is happening inside that house. But okay, truth be told, I'm pretty sure many of us tried to awaken conqueror's hockey, right? Even though these questions might be chill and funny, this next one probably made Oda kind of furious. Someone wrote that he is continuing his efforts in order to become a swordsman. He said, do you think if I keep working hard, someday I might be as strong as Sanji? Oda wrote, what? I'm getting angry. Be cool. Be cool. If this fan was trying to make Oda upset, I do have a feeling he achieved his goal. Next, we have a real life story as described to Oda by a fan. Apparently, this fan was given a form in middle school asking what job he wants to do when he grows up. Well, the student wrote that he wants to be a pirate. The response of the teacher was, be serious. Oda replied by telling the fan to ask the teacher, what's wrong with being a pirate? Up next, we have a fan literally becoming Sherlock Holmes and observing the tiniest of details and mistakes in Oda's work. The fan wrote, on page 137 of volume 15, the woman appears to have spring onions in her basket. Three of them. But the same lady later appears on page 162. Is it me? Or does she have a bunch more of them? Naturally, Oda was shocked with this as he never expected someone would observe this. Oda was surely underestimating his fans. If the previous question did not make you laugh, well, listen to this. A fan asked, if I eat Luffy, can I become a Gomu human? Oda replied that, no, you'll simply get food poisoning since humans are not meant to eat rubber. Next, I suppose a fan did not know what to write, so he just went ahead and wrote whatever came to his mind. He wrote, this is going to be extremely difficult for me to tell you, but your fly is open. Oda responded by saying, okay, I'll take my pants off to make sure that I'll never do anything as embarrassing as that ever again. Now that you mention it, I'm not quite sure if this is how Frankie came to be. In other occasions, fans place some challenges on Oda. Now, what do I mean by that? Well, check this. Oda Sensei, please draw the main six characters with your left hand. This is Luffy, this is Zoro, and this is Nami, all drawn by Oda's left hand. After Nami, Oda added, this is wasting enough space already, so can I just stop? But yeah, as you would expect, that was not the end of it, because in another SBS, fans kept asking for Oda to draw the remaining three straw hats. So Oda drew this for Sanji, this for Usopp, and this for Chopper, after which Oda was begging for mercy. But do you think the fans accepted this request? Yeah, not even close. They asked Oda to draw the main six characters with his foot. Oda drew this and wrote, that's Luffy, the man who will be the Pirate King. That hurts. Why did you make me do that? But again, the crazy challenges did not end there. Fans went on to ask Oda to draw the six straw hats with his mouth, meaning to bite the pen and try to draw them like that. This was the result of it. After, once again, Oda was left begging his fans to not ask for anything crazy again, as his teeth are now hurting. Hold on. Fans put two more crazy challenges for Oda to complete. The first was to draw Luffy with his eyes rolled into the back of his head. This was the end result. In the other challenge, they asked Oda to draw Luffy with the wigs of this manga panel. So Oda went ahead to draw this version of Luffy that looks huh? like Sailor Moon was doing drugs. This version that looks like Momonosuke, and this version that looks like Smoker and Josuke from JoJo's Bizarre Adventure had a child. Finally, this version of Luffy that looks like a 50-year-old man. A funny question that was also covered in one of our previous videos was this following question that has to do with Nico Robin. What if someone with really hairy arms ate Robin's fruit? Would they sprout really hairy arms? Oda went on to draw this caveman having Robin's devil fruit. We previously mentioned Minatomo that Oda created in order to justify the magical fixing of the broken doors. However, the character he created is probably 
probably the most powerful character in the series, took the photo. You see, someone asked, who is the person that takes those pictures for the wanted posters distributed by the Marines? Oda answered by drawing this character and writing that, that'd be this dude here. He's extremely quick and can sneak into any place he wants. He is called Flaming Arachan because he yells fire whenever he hits the shutter. So whoever thought that Kizaru was the fastest character in the series, now you know his speed is nothing in front of Took D Photo. Next, we have once again another question about Panda Man. A fan asked, who's this guy always next to Panda Man and what's the thing he's holding in his hand? Oda went on to draw this guy that goes by the name Tomato Gang. He's going to continue chasing Panda Man until he pays for the debt he owes. On to another down bad question fans asked. Manga is for drawing people's dreams, but there's something wrong with that. My dream is to see Nami. Well, can you fill the gaps about what this guy wanted? Oda's response was that he basically will try his best to make this fan's wish come true. Well, this does explain a lot about Nami's character development through the years. To be honest, you can't even imagine the kind of down bad questions I read trying to research for this video. So just to not get boring, we will present only the funniest ones. But seriously now, when fans ask this type of question, would you blame Oda for misunderstanding the next question? Someone asked, is Zoro and Sanji had a serious fight? Who would win? To that, Oda replied with, whoa, that was surprising. I thought you said if Zoro and Sanji had a, you know, fight. Now for those confused, allow me to explain. The word gachinko in Japanese means serious, while the small space in between those two words gives a completely new meaning. That means, you know. But in reality, what I see is that Oda basically managed to dodge the question on who is stronger between Sanji and Zoro. Who do you think is the strongest? But no matter which is stronger, the sure thing we know about Zoro is that his head does resemble the Marimo. A fan pointed out the fact that Marimo balls grow 10 centimeters per year. They reach 30 centimeters in three years. Oda's response was to draw Zoro like this with the head of a literal oversized Marimo. Next, we have another point we mentioned in a previous video. If Wapol ate Luffy, Nami, Sanji, Zoro, Chopper, Usopp, and Robin, and then performed the miracle combination, what would happen? Oda drew this abomination that is Sanji's eyebrow, Luffy's straw hat, Chopper's antlers, Robin's alabasta hair, Usopp's slingshot, Nami's hair, and Zoro's swords. We did mention quite a few designs from Oda, but how about fan designs? Well, check these out. Before Jinbei was officially introduced, his design was still a mystery. So a fan drew this and asked Oda to implement it in his story. He even made the character saying, seriously, I'm Jinbei. Yeah, buddy. I believe you. The next victim of One Piece fans was Sanji. You see, when Sanji's bounty poster picture was hand-drawn, apparently one artist among the One Piece fandom did not approve and took it upon himself to draw a better drawing for Sanji. This is what he drew back to some down bad comments. Someone asked, why does Nico Robin always wear so revealing clothing? Does she like revealing her chest? In which Oda basically said, no, that's because I like them. Not only that, but in another SBS, he showed the process in which he draws his female characters. He draws one circle for the head and two circles for the chest. He even confirmed the reason he does this in a separate question. He stated that the reason behind this design is because Oda is trying to make little boy's dreams come true. Moving on, let's speed run a few funny designs Oda drew after fan requests. Someone asked, how does Kumador Dory's mom look like. For whatever reason, someone could ask this. This is Oda's design for her, in which he also added her profession, assassin. Next, what if Khalifa had eaten the Ushi Ushi no Mi, model giraffe? This is Oda's design. Following up, Sai was mentioned to have an ex-fiance. How does she look like? Oda said, I heard she is woman with gorgeous hair and a cool look to her eyes. Yeah, not so sure about that. Someone asked for Oda to teach them how to draw Zoro. Oda started by drawing Gojo's hair, then did this simple step, added some extremely detailed eyes, some high quality facial features and finished off with some impressive final touches. Perfection! But speaking of Zoro, a fan asked Oda to draw him if he were bald. And this is what he looked like. Let's mention the next question about Zoro. Someone asked, when Zoro bites his sword, doesn't his mouth hurt? Well, I do have a feeling this fan probably tried it for himself and saw that it's <laughs> not as easy as Zoro makes it seem. To this question, Oda replied that, yes, Zoro does feel pain, he just endures it. The funny part about that, however, was this drawing that no one really asked for. Up next, someone asked how would Killer look if the smile devil fruit he ate was not a failure. Oda drew this with Killer's head being on the tip of the elephant's trunk. We previously mentioned a request about drawing Frankie with a cuteness factor on. Well, that same request was made for Uroge. This is how he looks. But since we mentioned Frankie, someone asked how could he sleep with those huge shoulders? The fan also drew something like this, which does look pretty uncomfortable if you think about it. Oda solved this question by showing that Frankie has a special type of pillow that allows him to rest well, despite those huge shoulders. Next, someone asked Oda, what does 
Fujitora imagine Luffy looks like, since, you know, he's blind. This is the geeky little design Fujitora has in mind for Luffy. Moving on, what would Usopp look like if he were to wear a mask? Well, it does look like something if you ask me. The following question is not so much related to One Piece, but since it's kind of bizarre, we added it to our list. Oda, please draw Godzilla. Yeah, I swear I never saw a more goofy drawing for a monster like Godzilla. On to a fan favorite, Doflamingo. What would happen and how would he look like if he took off his glasses? Oda replied by drawing Doflamingo taking off his glasses. Underneath them lies another set of glasses. Finally, this last question shows that Oda just does what he feels like. Did Rosinante come from the novel of Cervantes? Oda said, yes, you were referring to Don Quixote, the satirical novel of the foolish knight of the same name. Here's your detailed explanation. I just felt like it. Check out this video where we present 30 One Piece mysteries that Oda protects even more than his own life. Go on, check it out.